Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're gonna do a quick, very simple unboxing of the Nike Sports Band by Apple and Nike for the Apple Watch. So, I have been wondering why the hell this did not come out months ago, and I'm assuming um, it was just a drive up sales of the Apple Nike Watch. So, this band was introduced along with the Apple Nike Watch um, Sport Edition back in October, I believe, or September of last year. Now, what sucked about it is, for example, myself here, I did not want to upgrade to generation two and I did not want to get an aluminum version because I like my stainless steel Apple Watch. So there was no way for me to get this band and that was kind of annoying. So I resorted to buying a knockoff band on Amazon for 12 bucks. Not the best of bands, but $12, I kind of get a similar design. I've had the original just black Apple Watch band, just kind of got tired of it. So. I'm finally glad Apple finally released these 50 bucks along with like every other uh, sport band there is. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how it feels and how it compares to a $12 Amazon band. So let's go ahead and typical packaging. You just go ahead and have a little tab right here and just gonna go ahead and rip it off. And this should come off like so. So we have Apple Watch Nike Plus. All right, so here we have just a basic picture of the Apple Watch and how to put the band on. And voila, here we have the actual band itself. So let's go ahead and pull it out. So of course you have two sizes. So you have the smaller band and you have the larger band. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. So I got the black and what Nike calls Volt, which is this like lime green, yeah, it's a lime green, it's not really a yellow band. And let me tell you guys, so these rubber bands, they are cheap, right? I mean, they cost 50 bucks, Apple's probably paying pennies for them, but they still feel really good and they're really comfortable. That's, that's a very important thing, right? So with the knockoff band I, I have here, this one was $12. Now, as you can see on the outside, they look fairly similar. Actually, the, the job they did with these uh, fake bands is really, really good. But when you feel them, you feel the difference. So these Apple ones are thicker. You might not necessarily feel it. These are thinner and flimsier. And you notice that when you're putting them on and taking them off. So the actual stainless steel button here comes off really easily on these because it's just so flexible versus uh, the official bands that are a little bit sturdier, a little bit thicker. So let's go ahead and put it on the Apple Watch and see how that looks. And here it is guys, on with the Apple Watch. And as you can see, it looks very nice, very clean. Um, I love these sport bands. Uh, even though I guess they're not the dressiest, they're so comfortable and I definitely would not mind rocking this with just an outfit on the weekend. Not necessarily just to work out, but just a. I think it looks cool. It has that pop of color, and I really like that the contrast between the black and the Volt. Now, there is two other versions. I believe there's a, I think it's a solid black one. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, with the perforated holes and then like a gray and white one. So that's pretty cool. I might be picking up the gray and white one. I think it's called the Frost. Not sure. Um, almost like the like the, the knockoff one I have here, except that the instead of having the Volt underneath, it's it's white. So I might pick that up as well. I don't know yet. Just wanted to kind of see uh, or finally get my hands on this. I've really been wanting this band since uh, the day it came out with the Apple Watch Nike edition. But guys, quick unboxing. Um, for 50 bucks, I think it adds a nice splash of color and some contrast. I think it looks super cool on your Apple Watch. Now, if you don't want to spend that much, I can't knock this fake band too much. I mean, I've worn it since December. It's done the job. It's never come off my Apple Watch. I know some bands, the problem with them is that these hinges here. So for example, here I have a really good one. So I'm not knocking on this one. This is an Aero and Board leather Apple Watch strap. These are amazing, but they have these lugs here and these are really high quality. Uh, actually, I have bought some Apple Watch straps before that this isn't as good. So it comes off and Literally, I had my Apple Watch fall off my wrist and hit the floor because uh, a stupid band had a cheap lug here. So you gotta be very careful with these rubber band, rubber straps. You don't really risk that, right? So, I mean, can't knock it too much. If you wanna go the cheap route, 12 bucks on Amazon, go for it. But as a whole, this feels better. It's thicker, you can feel the quality. And I mean, you do get that sweet Nike logo. So uh, if you're a, a brand whore like myself, definitely have to get it. So 49 bucks, Apple Store, it's out now, guys. Hopefully you like this quick unboxing and first look. If you wanna see a review, let me know, drop in the comments below, and I'll be more than glad to, to review this band and I mean, maybe a whole bunch of other bands that I have here laying around. So as always, guys, 
thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.